Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Royalty Soaps. Today, we are making a soap for all the horse girls out there, okay? My sister Shelly is a horse girl. She has a beautiful white Arabian horse that was gifted to her from somebody who was trying to get rid of him because he didn't meet the breed standards. And then recently, my other two sisters have acquired a quarter horse. He is so, so sweet, and they are out in my parents' property. My sisters love horses, I love horses, um, so we're making a horse soap very heavily inspired by spirit stallion of the cimarron my whole hope here is to make all the horse girls feel represented it was the perfect soap to add into the homestead collection because obviously horses homesteads like hello so without further ado let's make some horse soap Alrighty, so I have my oils. Hi, can you see my reflection? <laughs> I have my oils all warmed up so I can add my lye water solution. Just pour that right in. And we're just gonna blend it up with our stick blender. Beautiful. Because I warmed my oils up today, they are, man, they're just doing so well. Okay, let's pour off our accent colors. Now, this design is very much inspired by Spirit, the horse of coerce. So it's going to be sort of a tawny, orangey, I'm not sure what horse color that is. <laughs> I should ask my sister Shelly. Like, I know he's not like an Appaloosa or whatever. There's just, there's a certain name for the coloring that Spirit is that obviously I don't know off the top of my head. But it's sort of a tan color with a very dark brown mane and tail. So we're going to include both of those colors. And then we're going to include a grassy layer. Grassy layer has to go first. So for my fragrance oil today, I have clover and aloe from Brambleberry. I figured for a horse soap, we needed something kind of grassy, sort of natural smelling, and it certainly does smell delicious. It's like a perfect spring fragrance. Kind of smells like even like a green tea or something. So now I'm going to add in some green oxide, some spirulina powder, and some peppermint leaves. Organic peppermint leaves. And we'll blend this up real quick. Now I'm going to wipe down my stick blender or immersion blender, as some people like to call it, with my spatula, just because this is going to be a layer that has tea leaves in it. And I really don't want those tea leaves throughout the rest of the soap. I might end up with one or two, but we're going to try to avoid it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pour this in. I don't really have to break the fall with the spatula because there's obviously no other soap underneath it. I'm just doing that so it doesn't splatter out because the soap is really, really runny at this point and it can kind of jump a little bit. If you are looking for a very well-behaved fragrance for your soap making, this one is highly recommendable. Most of you probably know that I work with a very severe water disc count with my soap so things tend to move faster instead of slower and you can see that my soap is basically like water right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna tap this down and allow it to rest and set up before we mix up the next part. Hey Christy! Have you heard of this new service called stamps.com? Yeah, I've been using it for months now. What's the big deal? It's just stamps, right? No, no, no. Stamps.com lets you ship your own postage or labels right from your home or office. I don't need that. I just go to the post office. But what if you could avoid the lines in traffic? Hey. I don't mind waiting in line. But with Stamps.com, you can ship packages from the comfort of your own home. And you can even schedule a package pickup so you never have to leave your house. Well, that does sound pretty convenient. And the best part is that Stamps.com has the best discounts in the industry. Wow. 
I had no idea. But isn't it expensive to sign up for Stamps.com? Not at all. Right now you can sign up at Stamps.com slash Royalty Soaps for a special offer that includes a four-week free trial, free postage, and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. That's a great deal. I think I'm going to have to sign up. You won't regret it. Stamps.com is a one-stop shop for all of your shipping and mailing needs. All right. I'm sold. I'm going to sign up for Stamps.com slash Royalty Soaps right now. That's the spirit. With Stamps.com, you'll save time and money on all your shipping needs. Sign up today and get a four-week free trial, free digital scale, and free postage at Stamps.com slash Royalty Soaps. That's Stamps.com slash Royalty Soaps. No long-term commitments or contracts. That being done, we can work on the horsey colored part of the soap. That just will never sound normal. We're going to start with a little bit of Goldfinger Mica. This is from Mad Micas. Alternatively, you could use Aztec Gold from TKB. I use them interchangeably just depending on who has it in stock and who has the best price. Then I'm going to add in some titanium dioxide to lighten that up. And then I'm going to add in some dark brown oxide for the mane and tail colors. Hey Siri, what kind of horse is Spirit? Spirit is a Kiger Mustang horse. What does that mean? Spirit has a dun coat color. A dun coat. All right, just go ahead and add the rest of my fragrance oil and we'll blend it up. Okay, so I am going to pour this color into one corner of my bucket here, just like so. Oh man, I am so nervous. I really hope this works. I hope this is firm enough to be able to do this. Okay, gosh, this is thick. Oh, oh dear. Oh, Lordy. Okay, okay. Whoa, whoa. Catherine, be careful. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie to you. I can barely see what I'm doing. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I'm standing on my very tippy toes. <laughs> oh gosh. Ah! Oh, I definitely broke through in certain areas that I did not want to break through. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Less heavy. <laughs> Might include less brown in the next one. I didn't think it was going to be so much. No, it wasn't stressful at all. Thank you for asking. <laughs> we are just going to do the lightest texture on top. I'm just going to pull like this. So it looks like hair in the wind. <laughs> just like so. Make some nice little pulls. It makes it nice and blurry. There's no like just brown sitting on top. Beautiful. Whew, that was a relatively easy soap to do. It was just so fully flopping heavy. Okay. All right. Eee, very good. Ah, and that color is turning out right. If it continues to lighten a little, just how I wanted, it should be exactly the proper color. And that is it for the horsey soap for free spirit. We will be back tomorrow to split this batch into loaves, cut it into bars, and put our stamp on it after this quick commercial break. Okay, here's what we're looking like the next day. Just gonna line this right up. Everything looks so pretty. Just like so. Move the end pieces. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Now, in future batches, <laughs> you won't have this big problem right here. It'll be a nice straight line, more like this one. But this is exactly what I wanted. It's the right color. It's the right type of swirl. The bottom green pasture part looks really good. And here is my horse stamp. You can see that there. So I'm going to go ahead and dip that probably in a brown mica. All right, we'll put our little soap right here. Put a little bit of brown mica. Tap our little horsey and put him right here. Just like so. 
All right. Look at the horsey. It's so cute. Let's do another one just for fun. All right. Check it out. I'm I'm feeling pretty good about this. And the clover and aloe smell is so strong. It is so strong the next day. It smells amazing. Question of the day. What is the best horse movie? Is it Spirit? Is it Black Beauty? Is it War Horse? Let me know your favorite horsey movie down in the comments below. Mine is Black Beauty, by the way. Love Black Beauty. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching today's video. Do you like the stamp? I really do. I think it's just plain enough that if you have a favorite horse, if it's a racing horse or maybe your own personal horse, you can imagine said horse on this bar of soap. Thank you so much to stamps.com for sponsoring today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed our terrible acting in the skit. I will see you guys in the next video and please enjoy the outtakes of Caleb and I trying to film an ad. It's the boots, really. <laughs> I... <laughs> hey, Christy. Have you heard of this new... <laughs> Man. That land. <laughs> It's like a hurricane. See you guys next time. See you.